All right, we've got the chief joining us here, Paul Noel of KPD. It's always good to have you here. We get we get the chief in about once a month um, and just try to get a state of the city uh, out, of, out, of, out of the chief to find out what's going on. First thing I think on a lot of people's minds, school is back in session in Knox County and in Knoxville. You folks had some new efforts out there. My question is, how safe are people driving and how busy were you with the unsafe drivers? Thanks, Ted. So we've asked people to slow down. We've come on the air and asked people to slow down. We've issued 170 traffic citations so far um, over the last week and a half. And so we're asking people to continue to slow down. The KPD officers are out. We're visible. And if you're speeding the school zone, we're going to write you a ticket. UT back in session as well. They have their police force, but I know you folks do work hand in hand together. What changes for you when 30,000 extra people move into town? So we work really closely with the University of Tennessee Police Department. Actually, Chief Sean Patterson, I knew him when he was in NYPD and I was down in New mm -hmm. Orleans. Um, we knew each other. We work really closely together. Um, move in, you know, you know, move in is going in. You got new, new students coming still in. Still going right. I mean, still going now. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So we work really closely with them. It's going well. The game. Next time I see you, we'll have had a home football game. Is uh, Here we are a couple of weeks out. Where are we? 17 days, I think. Is yeah. that right, Ben? I haven't seen our little promo today. 17 days till game day. Are you guys already planning and ramped up and ready to go? Ted, we've been planning in about six six months out. And next time I see you, we'll be 1-0. Oh. I like that. So we'll be 1-0. Like oh. But, no, we've been planning. We're ready, working really closely with UT police, the sheriff's office, to make sure that everybody has a great and safe game day experience. Kind of a, not a real curveball at you, but something that we hadn't originally planned on talking about is the bank robber that we yeah. just had. It seemed like the pictures went out. We're saying KPD is working with the FBI. And lo and behold, wait a minute, we've got an arrest. What's it like when you two join forces? How How's that work? So look, you know, we don't get a lot of those very often, but I was really proud of the men and women in Knoxville Police Department. That bank robbery went down. We responded quickly. We were able to get those pictures out, work with the community, and within about an hour and a half or so, we hit a guy in custody. Overall crime. That was the very first time we talked to you. You wanted crime to go down. You wanted shootings to go down. Give us your... How is it going? How is your effort based on your grading scale? So, you know, we, I, I would give us a, you know, I would give us a B plus right now. We have a long ways to go. Very proud of the men and women of the police department. Right now, overall crime is down 12%. That's on top of double digit decreases last year. Non-fatal shootings are down over 40%. We've had two more homicides than we did last year. 17 of the 19 homicides we've had this year are solved. Men and women are doing great work. Our detectives are doing great, great work. That's the question. How, does, how do those numbers go down? What are you doing oh. that make those numbers go down? So, you know, first of all, great teamwork within KPD, the patrol, our detectives, working really closely with the district attorney's office, really working well, working with our national partners on some national efforts. Um, data analytics, we're bringing in new data analytics that we never had before, our, our crime analyst, analyst. Overall, great team effort. Nice. Have you got to enjoy more of East Tennessee as you're getting, getting to call this area home now? Absolutely. I was in Cades Cove recently. I was camping in Cherokee National Forest. A little hot, yeah. but I've been wait, waiting for it to cool down a little bit. But, you know, East Tennessee, this is a great time to be out in the outdoors in East Tennessee. It's a beautiful part of the world, too. Thank yes, you. sir. Good to see you again. Thank you, Ted. Appreciate it. Let's get to weather.